Good evening, everyone. Hope you are safe at home. I'm here in my kitchen. I hope you come to my kitchen now. Tonight we're gonna cook a very simple recipe with it's very rich in vitamins. It's really good. I love it. It's a spinach and asparagus cream soup. Very simple, very clean. So come on and let's see the stock first. A very simple stock with uh, cooking with my doctor sofrito, onions, garlic, paste. I'm using a little bit of celery, some carrots, bay leaf, and that's it. Boil it for 20 minutes, and now we're gonna remove all the vegetables, because this is where we're gonna cook our asparagus and spinach. So this is done. Got all the flavors from these vegetables already. Okay. Let's remove everything. Make sure you remove all the bay leaves. So that cannot go on the magic bullet. Basically, I got all the big vegetables out. So here we're gonna cook. We're gonna go ahead and add the asparagus. While the asparagus is cooking, I'm just gonna blanch my spinach. I'm gonna take a very important, you need a knife back. So we can stop the cooking of the spinach. So we want the spinach to give us that beautiful green color. So we're just gonna add it like that. Just blanch it. Keep it with your tongue, press it for 20 seconds, that's good. That's you know, perfect. That's what we want. So we put it right on the ice bath. Put the rest of the spinach. You may want to use the coriander, something if you see easier for you. And you can leave a couple of leaves, no problem. You can leave those. So I leave it, the spinach in the ice bath for about two minutes. It's very, very cold. Let's take it out of the ice bath. And now we're gonna strain the water out. Just squeeze it. Squeeze all that water out. That's it. I'm gonna squeeze my mighty bullet. We're gonna leave the asparagus about a minute uh, in the boiling water, no more than that. We want them soft, because we're gonna make a cream out of them. So all we're gonna use is the stock, the asparagus, the spinach. Then we're gonna finish it with a little bit of mascarpone cheese and some crispy potatoes. I'll be back. I don't know about you guys, but all I'm doing is cooking and washing dishes. That's my job at my home. Let's put the stock inside. And then I'm gonna flavor this with the most delicious and nutritious sazon in the market, all-purpose seasoning. If you don't have it, go to Amazon right now and get it. Cooking with my doctor Sasson. Let's give flavor to it. It's very important. If you want to make your wife or your husband very happy, you need to add this to it. Look, more and more. Are you gonna add a little bit more? Perfect. It's never too much. So let's go and do this. Again, be careful. So you don't burn yourself because you don't want to go to the hospital these days with a burn in your hands or anything like that. So you shake it, take your towel, and make it happen. Look how green, look how beautiful. Oh my God. This is just mm, delicious. Leave it there for another minute. I will be back to finish this too. Let's finish this. We got a beautiful plate. You don't have to be that beautiful, but uh, mine is beautiful. Take a little bit of mascarpone cheese. This is what's gonna give the creaminess to the soup. Put a little bit on the bottom, that's it. If you don't have mascarpone cheese, you can use plain yogurt, you can use ricotta cheese, anything creamy, anything nice. Just a little bit of crispy potatoes on top. And look at this, look at this. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Look at this. Oh, you are just gonna sleep so well tonight. Thank you all so much for watching and keep in touch. I'll be posting more recipes every day and hope you stay safe at home. Please, stay at home.